Good morning, West USA. Welcome to a, another edition of our Tuesday morning webinar. Uh, we got to remind ourselves of how to do this. Thing. I know. Oh my gosh. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, bell works. Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. seems to be working. All right. We appreciate everybody uh, uh, joining us. Uh, the good news for me is uh, I broke even over the weekend. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. So I uh, woke up Monday morning weighing the, the same as when I went to bed Wednesday night. So <laughs> it's a fantastic uh, thing. <laughs> yeah. My stomach's not so thankful. It's hungry all the time now. But anyways, moving right along. A um, little uh, sneak peek at what's on tap. Of course, we've got Todd Bernard here to give us a little look at the numbers. Mick Bernard for the Books Bad Baker team is here to give us our mortgage minute. And I want to give you uh, three Tom ideas for the holidays. Tom stands for top of mind. Some of uh, some great uh, ideas of how you can take care, take advantage of the holiday season to, to stay in touch with your sphere of influence. And then uh, we got Keith in like Flynn. He's going to share his holiday marketing ideas for oh, real estate for that. professionals. So that's for real estate professionals. So that's going to eliminate about 50% <laughs> of us, right? <laughs> I'm not sure which side yeah. uh, I fall into. Um, as always, if you got any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always email us at webinar at westusa.com. All right, Todd, take it away. All righty. Well, thank you, everyone. It has been a while. So hopefully last week you did receive uh, the posts that I put on each of the closed groups uh, for the month-end numbers for October uh, that you could share. And we will, we're only a couple of weeks away from sharing the next uh, month. The year is 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 ending quickly. Um, taking a look at this week's market analysis. So this will be compared to uh, a few weeks ago when we had the last, uh, actually last week uh, when I did the last uh, numbers and sent them out to you. Looking across the board, we have 61 days closed on market, 3.36 months supply, uh, almost 30% absorption rate, which is a good number, uh, 532 average sale pr uh, list price and 330 average sale price little bit high on the list price to sale price retention at 97.93. Taking a look at the inventory across the board. Uh, yeah, this is a number we haven't seen in a while. This is a, actually the third week in a row. Uh, we've actually been above 18,000 in inventory. Um, so remember, we were almost uh, into the 15,000 range not too long ago. But this is, you know, kind of common, stereotypical or at least seasonal. Pending is sitting at 42.21 and closed units for the month to date at 46.05. So new listings, we took only 1,161, and as you all know, uh, we like to keep that somewhere around 2,500, so 37% drop week over week uh, this week. You know, Mike, it could be the tryptophan affecting everybody from the turkey, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but what I do know is that consumers say they don't like to be interrupted during the holidays. However, there are people that still need to sell their home by the end of the year, so uh, don't let numbers uh, be the impetus for you not to go do something realistic state related as a matter of fact i always love to show homes on thanksgiving i yeah. usually average about three or four thanksgiving meals uh <laughs> pop in uh, yes i'll take a drumstick to go <laughs> all righty so there, there, there's another marketing tip days close on market sitting at 61 and our active inventory is about 159 um down here on the bottom right hand side this is the price range uh, you know we talk about this a little bit we kind of breeze through it um but again you know when you're working with buyers or sellers you use these price ranges uh to be a little more specific on how many days on market they can anticipate. If they're going to look at a home in the three hundred to four hundred thousand dollar range, and they are, uh, you know, they're they're that home has been on the market for about seventy days. If you look at the three hundred to four hundred thousand dollar range, third one down in the green. You know, it says that the average days on market is 79 days. And this is, you know, it's days on market for properties that are ready to sell. So if you're in that 70 day range and, you know, and, and you're looking to put an offer in, you could use this to say to your consumer and this, you know, it, that they, they want to put in a good and strong offer because this property is going to sell. It is ripe for the picking. Um, you know, and that's how you want just another way in which you can use this chart. Taking a look at the uh, spreadsheet, and this is where we have the two weeks, uh, week over week, November 27th and the 20th. Uh, sliding your eyes further, we have two blue columns. One is October, one is September. Um, and again, this allows us to see all the way across and a comparison, um, which realistically, Mike, I mean, it, you know, they say, I'm not an expert. I've only been in the industry for six weeks or six days. And, you know, the, the, what an expert does is they compare all the data they've seen over time and time again, and they're able to share 
share that with the consumer. So the reason that I post these is so that even if this is the first time you've ever seen this document or the first time you're sending it out to your clients, then you can see across the board and say, well, gee, you know, in September there were 9,042 new listings taken and in October there was at 97.81. That's 8.2. That's a 10% almost increase in listings. So again, it's just one of those things and how that works for you. Um, taking a look at pending again, 42.21, we were at 43.89 last week. Um, you'll notice all the tickers are pretty much in red right now, which basically means we're, we are in that slowdown period. Taking a look at closed inventory across the board, 46.05. Last year, we were at 50.327. We're 14% off the ball uh, in that. If you slide drives to the right, you can see that you know typically we're only about 4 to 5% off the ball uh, for the last couple of months. Um, and again, 3.36, that's a, an actually a good anytime. We always talk about 4% and less. You're in basically a buyer's market. And in this particular case, or excuse me, a seller's market, I'm sorry. And in this particular case, we're sitting at 3.36. 3% is exactly the sweet spot. Um, so, you know, we're doing real well as long as it's somewhere between 3 to 4. Um, and then, of course, sale prices, we're sitting at 532. That's up. But again, it's pretty consistent all the way across the board. Uh, for the full year, we've only the average about a 6% increase. Um, so that, that's doing real well price-wise as well. Uh, and the last numbers down here just at the bottom is just to say that, you know, you can see inventory. We were at 159, then 156, then 155.8. You know, it's, it, it is slowing down. That's just the way it happens in this last quarter. But if you're working in your typical resale, I just recommend to you that you turn around and take a look at uh, the second home market, and that'll keep you alive during the summer or during the winter months. All right, appreciate it as always, Todd. And uh, Todd, where can we find your slides? They'll be on the dashboard this afternoon. All right, uh, so uh, make sure you download them. And uh, you know, I'm going to actually download them this afternoon. I've got some uses for them. There we go. So, uh, yeah, so appreciate that as always, making them available. Uh, so speaking of having no use for, uh, we got Mick. But no, I'm just kidding, Mick. That nice. is just so rude. Nice. Wow. Rude. Well, it's only up from here, Mick. <laughs> I'm glad I have big skin. Been in the mortgage business for 35 years. It helps. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing that can uh, that I think get, that can face you. All right, we got Mick Bernard here, of course. Uh, one of my favorite people in the entire world, or at least in the room, or at least sitting across from me on the table. Uh, Mick Bernard from the Books Man Baker team to give us our mortgage market rate update. What's going on, and what's been going on? Uh, rates are the same. Nice. That's all I have to say. Bye. <laughs> I still see uh, one in the four. Hang it in there, right? We expect <laughs> to hang in a little bit longer. You know, Todd and I were talking before the, the webinar started. We fully expect them to be based upon reports, statistics. Rates are going to be higher next year. They, they just are. So uh, take get your get your people off the fence and get them to buy a property. Uh, we know these rates. I thought these rates would be half a percent, percent higher by now, but they're not. But fully expect them to be higher next year. All right, so uh, yeah, so we got a lot to anticipate. Uh, anyways, and we'll uh, maybe uh, maybe at the beginning of January, we'll talk about some strategies in which to uh, to help move those. I mean, it's easier said than done to say, "Hey, let's get our buyers off the fence and right. <laughs> go out and buy a home." Exactly. Uh, so we can talk about some strategies. All right. Well, sometimes you need to find new buyers, and so when I was researching what to talk about today, I was interested. Came across an interesting stat that talked about a breakdown of single female home buyers. And I was surprised, honestly, to see that almost 20% of real estate is owned by single females. Hmm. Uh, to break that down even That's further, good news for those of you that are single. Yeah, could be. <laughs> or or to maybe use as a marketing idea to to uh, in groups that you might be involved in. But what really surprised me was when you look at these, uh, the breakdown of the percentage of ages was that uh, almost 70% of those homeowners are over 50. That's that's what really really caught caught me by surprise. And so the couple of other stats that uh, we we uh, came across on the next slide um, talks about uh, the one that I really kind of honed in on was the divorce rate. I guess they call it the gray divorce. Yep, they I guess do I wasn't now. really yep. familiar with that. Uh, the the divorce rate for those over 50 uh, has doubled, and for those over 65 has tripled. But I was just, I was actually, I guess, surprised to see that. Um, and so I don't know if you have this in your marketing plan or if you're in any groups, but using some of these numbers might be able to, you know, convince uh, some people that you might know, hey, other people are doing it. Most most uh, homeowners, or at least a fifth of the homeowners are single women. And um, they're, say, elderly. My age, I guess, is the best way to put yeah. it. 
Gray. Well, take the, <laughs> take, take the death rate, take the I, divorce rate, who's these left? Are, these are the moments that I remind my family that just go ahead and thank me for the things that I don't say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can say gray because I am, right? And so I'm, a, I'm in that age group. And so, I don't know, I just found that interesting. And, you know, I'll, we come here every week look, looking for something new to talk about. And I thought that would be some, something that you might find of interest. And the next one, we want to talk about uh, a flyer. Just if you want to see if you can attract some people that want to buy a house. There's a down payment assistance flyer that you can send out to your database, send out to your renters, or maybe do you know do something to help attract a buyer. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Uh, and as always, Mick, uh, you'll co-brand these uh, for our agents. Absolutely. And, uh, and this is great social media stuff. Totally. Um, you can just take some bits and pieces out of this too, you know. And then this is what I love about your information. I mean, you literally could take each one of these. Maybe we could have Adam. Uh, you know, work on some of these. E almost every single one of these we could put into a three to four uh, Series. week, you know, yeah. Yeah. Facebook social media campaign. Sure. And and now, I mean, you literally, you know, I mean, each month we can just have our have our calendar okay. all set and yeah. our material okay. ready to go. Idea. And yeah. I think yeah. it'd be fantastic. Especially yeah. Adam doesn't have much to do over there. Yeah. Specifically, if you're marketing uh, apartment complexes. Yeah. I'll make sure it's a, you tell them it's your quote. <laughs> All right. Tell us about the Books Man Baker team difference. Um, let's talk about the um, I'll say 24 7 access to pre qualification forms. You know, I've got had a lot of negotiations this happening a, I, you over know, the weekend. We always talk about this when we, we just mention this. I'm yeah. telling you, I, I work and know a lot of lenders out there, they don't offer this. And this is this is a fantastic tool for the age, especially the weekends and the holidays, right? Because I mean, you know, I mean, every lender says they're available twenty four seven, and we want to be in agents. We want to be twenty four seven, but realistically, it's it, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. And and having to, I remember the days of having to track down my lender just to get an updated pre qualification right. form. You want to match your offer, right? So yep. this gives you the control. We just we pre approve them for the maximum amount. You go in there, like I have one right now. They're pre approved up to five hundred. They want to make the offer at four ninety. Uh, you know, she goes in, changes, changes it to four ninety. Yeah, like it. issued it, and yeah. if it comes back countered at four ninety nine, that's the list price. You just go back in and change the pre call to four ninety nine, and then have to track you down. Here you go. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So as always, uh, uh, talk with uh, Mick and the Booksbed Baker team. They are in most of our offices, and uh, and let them work with you. And, and again, if, especially if you're working for the buyer, especially for the holiday season. Uh, take complete control of the pre-qualification form process. Mick, appreciate it as okay. always. Hey Thank guys. you. Thanks very much. All right. Uh, holiday marketing tips. So um, yeah. later on, we're going to have Keith Flynn come in and talk about holiday marketing tips for real estate professionals. Uh, and then we have to joke with him when he gets in and ask him, I don't know what side am I on. Am I one of the professionals or the non-professionals? Yeah, exactly. But, uh, so I don't know whether we're going to double down here or not, but you know, the advantage <laughs> of going first. Hey, right? There you go. Exactly. <laughs> I'm in control. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so number one, uh, these are just marketing tips to help stay top of mind. I like to call them Tom events to, to make an impact, to, 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 to leave a lasting impression on people. So this one is go nuts on. This is the time to do open houses. Oh, yeah. So have Santa at your next open house. So I would during that during I would have done it already through through the Thanksgiving weekend. Um, but make call it make open houses a big deal during the holidays totally make oh it gosh. an event buy some blow-ups i just uh, from for my family i just got some we got a big lots but near our house and i bought some blow-ups for 20 bucks i uh, can't guarantee they're going to last the season but uh, nonetheless you know they're a pretty good deal um but make it make it a big deal. Send invites to the neighbors, and some people going, okay, well, yeah, I do that all the time. None of the neighbors show up. Well, one, you're probably your invites probably yep. your sign. There's your sign. Uh, yeah. Two <laughs> is uh, you know if you make this a big deal, offer cookies. Have a big deal. Cookies, hot chocolate, eggnog, whatever it is uh, that you offer, and, and invite the neighbors to come. Uh, but have Santa there. Yeah. Um, you know, hire someone. Get get a overweight friend. Uh, you know, I'm available for a nominal fee. Get DB the bear. Yeah. Um, you know, get a, get, get a Santa costume and I would invest money in a Santa costume yeah, yeah. or get a cheap one. And then after the holidays, find one on clearance. Smart. It's going to be a top notch one for the following year. And I'm telling you, what, if you have Santa there, um, and invite the neighbors to come to bring their kids and take pictures with <sighs> Santa, I'm telling you, you might get some neighbors. And then here's the best part. Use a digital camera. Okay, Ooh. long past the days of the Polaroids, right? That's right. And for those of you, you millennials out there, you can Google or Google Polaroid. Um, 
But, uh, you know, and in order for me to send you a picture of your kid, your child in Santa, I'm going to need to collect some personal data such as email totally. addresses. Oh, my gosh, Mike. You know, it, you took a little bit of that thunder away because that's exactly what I was talking about is going to talk about as well, um, is it's a great way to get the real email uh, from some people. You don't need anything else. You don't necessarily need their, you know, their whole history. You just really need their email uh, and maybe a first name, and, and that's all you need to start the communication. But uh, the thing that I really like about this is invite your past clients or invite your you know your current clients and say hey listen I'm holding an open house and Santa's going to be there bring your kids over what a great way to get additional exposure for that listing from your existing database and friends and family yeah and one of the other things uh, yeah, there's a couple different ways you can do this I, I, I know you know the, the question is if you, if you could have one would you prefer to have somebody's email address or phone number? And and I think it's just differ, it, it differs, you know, yeah. from agent to agent. But if, if phone numbers are more important to you, then then take the pictures and tell them that you're going to send them via, you know, text messenger mm -hmm. or whatever the case is. That's to great. Too. And, and you could just really start collecting. But make a big deal about yeah. it. Get up the neighborhood, but invite them. If you've got some blow ups out there uh, and, you know, and I guess Santa's out there, I'm telling you what. It's a great idea. And you know you also, and this is not even on my list, so this is you're welcome, folks. Um, <laughs> Damn, is invite uh, in, in, invite the the puppies down for a Ooh. Christmas costume contest. You know, I mean, you, sending your photos of your puppies on my so website. You pick a neighborhood. You're gonna nice do a three day open house. Oh my Friday, gosh. Saturday, Sunday. Maybe every day is a different event. That's that's way over the top. That is up. so I'll cool. Into oh my gosh. Business. All right. Number two, be in charge of the neighborhood lighting contest. If your neighborhood doesn't do a lighting contest, be in charge of it. Organize it. Leverage uh, any neighborhood social media pages. If, or if you have a if you run the neighborhood uh, Facebook page, then 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 leverage that. Yep. Uh, leverage uh, the next door pages. Announce that you're doing a contest for a specific you know the, the specific neighborhood. Partner with your vendors on this. On to everything. Really cool prizes yep. i mean some really cool That's prizes good idea. Yep. Um, that people are going to get really excited about yep. uh, and then send out postcards with your brand announcing the contest um you know obviously you can work with your title company you can work with our friends at quantum digital if Just you have yep. postcards already set and you can upload them and, and they'll mail them out there um but announcing the contest announcing what the prizes are um, but then what I would do is then you do, um, right after Christmas, three subsequent postcards. Uh, the first postcard would be, uh, the house that got third place. Okay. Then the next week, postcard number two, second place. And then the following week, uh, who got first place wow. now in the month got, of December, yeah. you, you've done four postcards. You created interest because I had somebody yeah. who was in my neighborhood. They did the postcard and everything like that, but then there was no announcement of the winners. Yeah. Oh, it you got to do that. Yeah, that oh my gosh. You know, I think the big thing here, Mike, is that you hit on this, but, uh, this is a great tool if you are just starting your Facebook community page for your neighborhood. Because what better way to get everybody to pull together than to do this and say, hey, we have a page. And people go, we have what? You know, so you could have just started it um, and then send all this still out and knock yeah, it out of the park. Way, yeah, and then, then to submit your house, you have to submit the photo on the Facebook page to get people that, on the Facebook page. That's right. I love it. Do that you guys are killing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go ahead and say you're welcome for the live studio audience because that's pretty much the only value I'll bring today. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what happens when we don't share this. Note to self. Yeah. <laughs> Jump on in the conversation. No, no, yeah. I'm Oswald at this point. So, yes, I agree with the first two. Those are fantastic <laughs> ideas. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we'll pretend that we haven't talked about this when it's your turn, Keith. You All right, it. and then and the third one, and this is this is my favorite because I'm going to show you what I did in about 90 seconds. Um, so number three is send Christmas cards with your clients' pictures oh. on them. Okay, so you're we're already stocking them. Keith, did you, is this one of yours too? Uh, that would be slide number three on mine. Thank you. <laughs> so, 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 so we stock them on social media, right? Yep. You find that great family picture. Okay, and then you can convert it to a greeting card. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. You, you, we really need to be videoing this because you have to see the anima animation that's going on here. As one of my examples. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's, I mean, with over 30,000 plus five star ratings on the on the App Store, it's a no brainer. Yeah, it's this. <laughs> okay, I feel really bad. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll have you back next week, right? But this is, these are the things that we'll talk about next year, right? right like, what's right. the point of having a funny Thanksgiving? No. Mom or dad or somebody didn't drop the turkey. And, so. and, and not only that, these are things that, you know, we might be talking about the holidays right now and we might be talking about this, but these are tactics for you to use all year long. Absolutely. Yeah, so so what I, so what you do is you go to, uh, I think, touchnote.com uh, is the, the best one. Uh, if you go to touchnote.com, I've got a promo code right there. Um, I think it'll get you some goodies. Um, and anyways, uh, but edit it you, right away. You can make a Christmas card, and then you can send it to your client. So I, I did an example. I literally did this in about 90 to 120 seconds. So I took a picture off my Facebook page. Uh, right there with my family. Uh, we were at the Scottsdale Princess on Friday night. So we took a big picture in front of yeah. the Christmas tree. Um, they put the Merry Christmas on it. Um, I just put a, uh, a, you know, a message on the, face, on the yep. inside wishing you and your family a happy holidays, best wishes. You can put whatever you want. Put your email address, website, whatever whatever it is you want to say to your client. That's amazing. And then they, they create this envelope. And so depending on the package that you buy, I can now mail this out. And it'll go in the mail in the next 24 hours. Matter of fact, I got I did I did order it. So it's gonna come here to the office here. Uh, you know, for anywhere between a buck sixty and two bucks a piece. Wow. So now you just spend uh, you spend the night going through social media, all your friends, family, mm -hmm. and, and and so forth. And what a great idea! Turn, turn, they're they're going to flip and love it. Yeah, that that's such a good idea. You know what? What really the people? I don't know that everybody understands this, but if you go out and buy some, you know, if you go to the dollar store, sure, you can go buy, you know, fifteen cards for four bucks. But you know, the thing is, is that they're they're not memorable cards. They're the same crap that everybody else is using. The question is, what we're what Mike's what this whole purpose is top of mind. This is to get you ahead and above everybody else who's sending them a Christmas card, so that they want to make sure yours is on the refrigerator yours is on the card table first you know those type different types of things and, and you know for two bucks you can't go wrong i mean even if you took how many people the average people are going to send out what 50 cards okay and they cost two bucks that's 100 bucks exactly. you wouldn't invest a hundred dollars in your real estate career people will invest 150 a month in zillow and get you know 40 leads of which aren't you know it takes a thousand to one to close so yeah and, and that's a great point so you sent out a yeah. hundred of them I yeah mean, you, you're going to tell me you're not going to have seven to eighty of your friends yeah. or people in your sphere of influence just reach out to oh you oh my like, gosh very very thoughtful yeah. yeah and it was different i didn't you know you i'm calling you because that's the only card i got that was so unique yeah. and especially and the ones of their puppies and and oh, yeah. I, I i don't i don't want to get morbid here yeah but you know, I mean, but you know, when you have friends and, and so forth that have lost loved ones, it's a it's a fantastic opportunity to send them something touching and, yeah. and let them, you know, a past photo them. that has that loved one in yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. All right. So I can't wait to see. Yeah, what that's pretty got. cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, if you do these, you know, here's here's something else. Um, if you do this, do one for yourself because I'm sure you'll do one with yourself and share it with us on our close Facebook group so that we can see that you you know that you've done it. Fantastic. Yeah. So you go to touchnote.com, uh, use that promo code right there, Mike, F-I-B-U. Uh, one of us will get some goodies. Uh, and then um, I would, we also did it on our Lead Gen Think Tank on uh, uh, Facebook page. You can go to leadgenthinktank.com to connect there. Uh, I uh, found an article, an Inman article, with 25 great Christmas marketing ideas. Oh, sweet uh, idea. I was going through that list and some really, really good uh -huh. stuff. So if you're already on the I'll page, I'll have to I check it out it, after. Um, yep. So let us know what your favorite one. Yep. And if you haven't made your way over to the page, um, just go to leadgenthinktank.com. That'll take you to our closed Facebook page. Uh, anyways, few announcements. Okay, the Chamatuki, Chamituki. Um, I love this. Uh, I, I gotta figure. I'm gonna go with Carrie Lynn. Probably created the name. Yeah, um, it's just not like Chamatuki or something. I mean, that's, Chandler Chamisa, man. The following. Uh, yeah, and, you know, I get it. <laughs> the Chamatuki Christmas party. So we got a ton of Christmas parties coming up, but our first one is Thursday, December sixth, uh, five to eight p.m. at the new Sevrar building. So it costs us 25 bucks, dinner and bar provided. Uh, and so uh, you have to RSVP uh, to your office in order to go uh, because they do need to get an accurate count. Bring a, bring your spouses, yeah. your loved ones. Don't I don't know. If, I don't think this is a kid one. If you haven't been to Sevar yet, yet yeah. it's beautiful. So yeah. there's definitely a good time to come. Yeah, it's fantastic there. So uh, so get signed up for that. Um, also, uh, hey, this is the time to really uh, give back. 
Um, and I will next week. I'll, I'll we'll do a three pack on this Sweet. of how you can leverage while wow, ringing the bell f- and and for your sphere of influence Grand, and how yeah. you can use it for your marketing strategies. Um, but we want you to ring the bell. So uh, we've got some uh, opportunities coming up. The dates are on there. If you would like to ring the bell, uh, go to ringthebellsignup.com. Uh, this is for West USA Cares and our West USA agents. Great opportunity to give back, raise some money. And again, next Tuesday, we'll do a little three pack on how you can leverage this yes. as well. Uh, and then lastly, I'm oh, really excited about this. So we got Mark Poison coming back, or Poison. Yes, uh, yeah. He's coming to the Chandler office. Uh, Tuesday, January 8th, he literally, he, he's really, in my opinion, Todd, one of the best instructors when it comes down to yep. putting together their business plans. Uh, but he's got this fantastic uh, course. It's 10 weeks long called Take Flight. Uh, I, the agents that take it, their businesses are changed. If you're brand new to real estate, um, take the course. Uh, it will really change the way that you do yeah, Mark's been in this business for a very, very long time. And he, he totally understands an agent's side of the transaction and what it takes to create, you know, and keep you top of mind, but create leads and, uh, but doing it so that you can build a sustainable business. It's a great course. It's well worth your time. So get signed up for it. Uh, Chandler at westusa.com. Uh, it doesn't matter what office you're out of, but just note, uh, it is a time commitment. It's a couple hours a day for 10 weeks. Um, but I'm telling business. you, it's the best t- best investment that you can yeah. make in your business. Um, if I was selling, I would actually take this. Yeah. I would take Mark is Mark is that phenomenal of an instructor. So with that, um, we're going to turn this over to Keith. Yeah, uh, let's and now yeah, for the recap is, of yeah. Mike's three pack. <laughs> <laughs> I assume. Okay, my bad. I assume no, that yours right. was going to be like social media. It, it's it's a mix of everything, really. Okay. You know, I mean, this time of year. Um, while you did touch on some things that I have, I have some tidbits in here that are going to be Perfect. hopefully some more value, but uh, more value, more value, more value, more value, more value. Yeah. and some yeah. additional value. <laughs> um, no, this, I mean, this time of year, my big emphasis right now is, um, you know, yes, as Todd mentioned in his stats, there's a little bit of a dip right now, but this is no time for you to also dip on your marketing. That's right. This is a time, you for the as I've said, um, exactly right. That. While uh, while we're out, um, you know, looking at lights, shopping, doing winter festivities, uh, as consumers, uh, this is a great time for you guys to heat up your marketing and uh, really jump in there and um, go personal. Get really personal with your past clients and your potential future clients. And um, so I put together some um, some tips and some ideas on you for you guys to get out there and uh, really drive some traffic for your marketing. And as I mentioned, as the temperatures drop, the heat uh, it's time for you to heat up your marketing. Um, it's a great time to um, get out there and get personal with your folks, find out a little bit more about your community and uh, learn um, what they're looking for. Again, just get in top of mind with them. You know, as Mike mentioned, Tom, uh, top of mind with your potential clients and keep your past clients remembering who uh, helped them with their past purchases and any referrals that you may have had in this last year. Um, number one, you guys should be doing this anyways, but this is a great time at the end of the year to say thank you again. You know, whether you're uh, choosing to make a phone call or to um, use email, which you should be doing anyways, uh, there's some additional tools and some fun stuff out there you can use in order to have a personal touch. And and, and one of the apps that I like recently that came out was um, Have Santa send a message. If you've got some past clients or current clients that have some little ones, you can actually download an app. There's several of them. But one of the apps is called, um, you know, Message from Santa. And, of course, there's an in-app purchase for some of the premium features. But, again, very small investment in order to make uh, an impact with your clients. Um, you can download the uh, the app. It's just go ahead and search for Call from Santa. There's several different apps. And uh, there's even some that offer video. So I don't know if that's pre-recorded or how that works. I didn't really get into it. But with the call from Santa, uh, you answer some questions. Uh, they'll customize the message on what uh, what little Tommy or Timmy's into, um, what he's had some challenges with over this past year. And so if you know any of those things or have some personal information about your clients, it's pretty cool. When Santa calls, he'll say, you know, hey, I hear you're having a hard time with 
potty training. And if you're doing a good job, Santa will come around and so on. So and uh, maybe maybe what you could do for agents is you can have Santa call your your sphere of influence and tell them that you want referrals for Christmas. Right. <laughs> yeah. Have you been have you been yeah. good? Yeah. Have you been good or not with sending referrals? Exactly. To me? The ones who've been challenged, you know, <laughs> you've been on the naughty list, yeah, but no, that no can change. You're getting cold. You're there's <laughs> there's still funny. some time. You know, I, just on the same topic, let me just re remind everybody that just because that you didn't sell one of your clients a house this past year. Mm -hmm. Every year when Thanksgiving comes around, it's a great time to say thank you for your past business. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and, and um, I put email last in there because, I mean, that's certainly something you should be doing anyways. And it's not that difficult to create a custom-themed email. Uh, and you should be sending that out automatically to your um, email list. Um, direct mail uh, is another touch point. As Mike had, had mentioned earlier, TouchNote is a fantastic app um, in addition to a desktop version. There's also the app version. And so if you have any of the photos in your phone, you can quickly create a postcard from your phone um, and send it to them for the holidays. This is also a great tool to use year round. If yeah. we mentioned, uh, there's no reason why you can't use this app for any other holidays that come up, any special events that are personal to them, such as the birth of a new child, maybe someone's graduating. You know, this is a lifetime uh uh, customer here. So just because you sold them a house when little Susie was 15 or five and now she's graduating from high school, you stay in touch, you become a family member and this is a great tool to do you that. Could, you know, you could send, you could take a photo of the front of your open house mm -hmm. and then send it afterwards and say, hey, thanks for attending my open house. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Like just that. send them a quick a little, a little note. Um, you know, if you if you got a photo, which you should be doing anyways and celebrating the, at, at closing, handing them the keys, they're out in front of the home with the just sold sign or just purchased or this is our first home. That photo lives in your uh in your photo bank, in your, in your camera roll, and that year rolls around, holiday season. Again, you can make a postcard of that special moment for them and remind them that they're celebrating their first Christmas in their new home. It was because of you. And that postcard can really reinvigorate and bring back that yeah. memory. Anniversaries of, of their and, purchasing the home, too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah wow. actually, yeah. anniversaries okay. as well. So, again, great touch point and uh, a great app to use. And then I mentioned there's like 30, it's 30, 30 point nine thousand five star reviews on the app. Definitely a download in my book. So uh, number two, set up a holiday celebration station or a uh, movie night. Uh, I've got a, a few agents I've spoken to who are already doing the movie nights throughout the year, but this is a great time to, you know, pick that little park in a hot zip code, right? And uh, find out where it is that uh, you want to host. As we, Mike mentioned earlier, definitely partner with your lender or title uh, to help offset the cost. But this is a great way for you guys to get together and uh, make an evening of it. Um, you can uh, showcase some of the top of some great movies that have been out around holidays, Home Alone, Elf, uh, Christmas Story. I know Mike's favorite's not on the list, but that would be Christmas Vacation. Oh yeah, Christmas Vacation. <laughs> I just found out my wife, yeah. I just found out my wife has never seen Planes, Trains, Automobiles. Oh no, that's yeah, a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Little John Candy. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and then, and then you guys have fun with this, you know, be creative, put your own spin on this. I'm just tossing out some ideas, but, uh, you know, hot chocolate bar, uh, a family photo booth station for the event leading up before the movie starts. Uh, if you do a photo booth, uh, you know, you could uh, discreetly put your logo in the corner of all the photos. So it's not a throwaway when they get home uh, and your information lives on, you know, the mantle or on the, uh, you know, the cabinet where they hang all their Christmas cards that come in through the season. And again, so. I don't know whether you said it or not because I wasn't paying attention, <laughs> uh, but have Santa there. Yeah. I, yes. I, another idea would be to hire Santa or some elves to hand out uh, treats. Definitely find, um, you know, a large family member or neighbor who can dress as Santa. I actually have a Santa costume. My best friend, when his little ones were uh, growing up, he bought the Santa costume, but he didn't really look the set part. So, uh, <laughs> and you're saying you did, and I do. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I had the uh, oh, oh. bowl of jelly. So, um, <laughs> uh, no, but I, I have the costume and he's like, keep it. I know you're going to have kids one day. And so now I have it. And so I've had fun with it since then too. It, it's amazing what you hold on to, but those are pretty valuable this time of year. So, uh, I am I'm available. 15% of anything, <laughs> that you, any business that you yeah, get from this sure. webinar. Yeah. A little, little soap <laughs> snow machine yeah. would be nice too. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. And then, so, 
uh, loose, a little loose on uh, what we shared earlier with Mike, um, a house decoration contest, any type of contest that could yeah, be cool around one. the holidays, uh, an opportunity for you to decorate the house or the front door. Oh, I like the door, yeah. Yeah, you know, make it simple. But again, pick a zip code that you really want to get into or maybe that you own and you just want to make sure you anchor it in and they remember you during the holiday time. Uh, but, you know, hey, uh, then go around door to door and use this as a touch point again as much as you can face to face in person, knock on the door, hand out a flyer, branded flyers saying that you're holding a contest and that you love their lights. You love the door. They've already done. Send in a photo. Uh, you can post those photos onto your uh, Facebook, social media, wherever the case may be. Um, and then you will announce as Mike did say, yes, make sure you make the announcement show that there were winners and whether you choose one grand prize winner or several, uh, you can do fun things like gift baskets, uh, free home evaluation, uh, gift cards, you name it. Um, but again, uh, I also suggest too with gift baskets, um, in the gift basket could be some practical items that you can easily brand so they won't toss them away. Oh, yeah. uh, even like Cutco, you know, would be a great example. So if you want to go there with someone who may not have had a purchase, but um, for certainly those who some There are so many things that you can do. Oh, yeah. It's, with, with it, it's hundreds. I mean, you, I mean, and then, you know, and you don't have to do it all year one, but you just, you know, in your neighborhood, you become that guy mm -hmm. that does this that, and, and dominates it. And then you get to the point every year where the neighbors uh, start to look forward to it. Yeah. But if I had three winners and I make each time the presentation of the prize, you know, a big deal, a big deal. And I get to come over to your house. If I got a nice prize for you, you're going to let me in the house. Now you're now you're getting to know people. Totally. You know, and then, you know, if you know that there's some people maybe, you know, going through a divorce or, mm -hmm. you know, might be selling in the next six months, maybe they win. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe they win. Exactly. Um, you know, at, 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 at the, the community events are really impactful because there's a lot you can do at the event the night of, and you could grab a, you know, a donation box and have everybody bring you toys, the tots. toys, canned food item, non-perishable item, um, you know, bring that. And uh, anyone who brings an item gets an automatic entry into a giveaway. All you have to do is fill out the form, lead capture, and then that way you're able to walk away with some return on your investment. Uh, and at the same time, uh, just becoming a top of mind real estate agent for your community. Love it. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. That's uh, that three. wasn't, that wasn't too much duplicate. What do you mean? No, no, it wasn't bad at all. Oh, it was, okay. I was just, I was just having fun with the fact that you had a couple of them there with mine. So <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, as always, uh, if you want, want to chat with Keith and, and, and pick his brain about marketing and strategizing and, and so forth, uh, especially when it comes down to social media totally. technology, you can reach him at Keith at West USA. Uh, dot com and all of these slides as always will be available on the dashboard this afternoon or you can email us at webinar at westusa.com uh, and just so that everybody knows uh, Bob is not with us today uh, he's on vacation he is. And, Happy uh, vacation, so we're gonna, Bob. yeah we're gonna call today a little bit short so we're gonna leave you with a quote from Jim Rohn oh, if wow. you if you really want to do something you'll find a way if you don't you'll find an excuse. Amen. Good quote. I love it. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Rest in peace, Jim. All right. That's my Christmas present to you, Keith. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> All right, folks. Appreciate you joining us. Go out and sell a home. <laughs>